The Nickel State Colonels baseball team was looking to start off inauguration week right with a win over in-state rival Southern. It was a beautiful evening for baseball at Didier Field, and the Colonels jumped out to a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first. However, in the top of the fifth, with runners on first and third and two outs, Zach Theak hit Harley Wiltz with a pitch to load the bases for Southern's freshman infielder, Robinson Mateo. Mateo didn't have to do much of anything to bring the run home, as a five-pitch walk nodded the score at one in the fifth. The tie score didn't last long, however, as senior Philip Lyons let off the bottom half of the fifth with his first of two doubles on the evening, giving the Colonels a big spark. Leo Vargas then laid down a sacrifice bunt, moving Lyons to third and setting up Keith Cormier to put the Colonels ahead 2-1 to one, with an RBI ground out to second base. The Jaguars wasted little time in responding as they used an RBI ground out of their own to knot the game at two in the top of the sixth. The Colonels' bats then went dry just as the Jags started heating up as Jaguar pitchers retired 13 of the final 16 Colonel batters. We've been seeing good arms all season long, and um, it's exactly what we're going to see going into conference play. So, I mean, it's a good thing that we're seeing them now. We've got to keep, uh, keep grinding up at the plate. The Jaguars got all they would need to secure the victory in the top of the seventh, scoring two times to take a 4-2 lead before adding the final run in the ninth to take a 5-2 victory over the Colonels. The Colonels are back in action tomorrow night as they go on the road to face Louisiana Monroe.